Hi, did Sam Altman just cancel AGI? It sounds like it if you listen to his interview with Tucker Carlson. Who loses their jobs because of this technology? I'm confident that a lot of current customer support that happens over a phone or computer, those people will lose their jobs and that'll be better done by an AI. Um, a job that I'm confident will not be that Im impacted is like nurses. I think people really want the deep human connection with a person in that time, and no matter how good the advice of the AI is or the robot or whatever, like you'll really want that. But if we fast forward another five or 10 years, what does that look like? Is it more jobs or less? That one I'm uncertain on. What, how big is that displacement, do you think? It's not gonna be dramatically different than the historical rate. Like we'll do, we'll have a lot in this short period of time, and then it'll somehow be less total job turnover than we think. So why is he doing this? I don't think it's that he, he lost the ambition in creating AGI. He's been very vocal about it. I think he's mainly trying uh, to avoid regulation from the Trump government because Trump uh, basically promised that AI would not take jobs away. But I want to reframe the debate, talking about like how could we actually define AGI because currently it's so poorly defined, just saying it's human-like intelligence. So for me, it's about being able to do what humans are able to do. For example, a relatively average person could create a simple consultancy company. Let's say it could be a digital marketing consultancy company making websites, for example. A human spending about a year's time gaining uh, the necessary expertise, doing the consultancy work would most likely be able to get some type of, of revenue for, for, for this company, right? So today, AI would be a pretty decent co-pilot. It can show a lot of best practices on how to actually solve these problems. It can also help with like, how should we do the marketing? How should we do the outreach? But it's a co-pilot, it's an assistant. It's not the CEO running the, the company, right? So for me, when we have AGI, the owner of the company could take a backseat. Uh, he could maybe just come up with the idea for the company saying, I want to make this digital consultancy company. And then he would need to give the AI some resources, for example, $10,000 to buy tools, for example, to buy marketing. But the AI could pretty much run uh, the business by itself. And after a year, this, this company would have generated uh, decent revenues. So maybe with like weekly check-ins, but the human would be more kind of the director of the board rather than the one actually running the company. And we are still pretty far from that stage. Why are we far from, from that state? Well, let's talk about it. I think uh, one element is of course intelligence. Like does AI know enough uh, to actually be able to, to perform these tasks? This area is pretty much uh, achieved. ChatGPT5 uh, has been measured having an IQ of 150. It's winning gold medals and all sorts of exams and so on. So I don't think it's uh, an intelligence issue. One of the showstoppers though, is the amount of work that AI can do independently is not that much still. I mean, it, it is growing, but today uh, some tasks, you know, ChatGPT might be able to do five or 10 hours of work uh, with one prompt, but that's more if it's like building a report, for example. If it's uh, something more complex where it needs to do different things, like do research, then uh, for example, make a report, then build graphs from the report and so on. It's quite often that it would fail during the tasks. Like uh, I can give you an example. I wanted to create a piece of music and then a music video. I cannot just tell AI, create the piece of music, then create the video, and then I would just sit back. There were like a hundred uh, interactions between me and different AI tools to get it done. So I, I did it in like uh, uh, 50 minutes, which I think is fantastic. Manually without AI, something like that would take maybe weeks uh, to get done, right? So it's fantastic but I needed to maybe to use 50 uh, prompts. Why can't AI do this? So looking at the productivity here, we're seeing it is uh, increasing really, really fast, maybe even exponentially. And ChatGPT 5 can in some instances do maybe 10 hours of work from a single prompt. 
uh, in a couple of years' time that AI from a single prompt can maybe do a week's amount of work for, for the average human, right? So the second uh, big problem is that if you give it a more loose objective, such as maximize the revenue or profit of, of this company, and you just give it uh, resources, it will not go out and, and actually engage with the tools needed to perform these tasks. So right now, for example, you can have uh, a LLM uh, write a, a pretty good email, but you still have to copy paste it into, for example, Gmail or Outlook. Of course, you can automate that part with an, an agent, but then, for example, you might need a follow-up call uh, with the client. And again, there are special AIs that can actually perform a phone call pretty well today. So again, that would be possible, but connecting the two will be quite complex. Uh, it might be possible, but it will take a lot of technical expertise to, to, to do it. Looking at the level of tools the AI can use is a major part of it being able to run a company and, and for it to feel like AGI. So of course, there will be legal bottlenecks uh, to this but uh, there will also there are also technical bottlenecks then the second thing is the ai needs to reason with itself right and and come up with good decisions all the time so uh, it needs to be reliable uh, we need to make sure it doesn't hallucinate at, at all again this is being worked on but i think it will take uh, another uh, two years at least to get to a level of hallucination that would be acceptable. Again, I think the more we limit the model to do some specific things, that the more the easier we can actually uh, achieve this. And then it's a, a, a question of memory as well. So you have probably noticed that LLMs forgets things, right? So it will, uh, if it is going to run a company autonomously, it it needs to remember several years of information that is stored into to the the GPT itself. This will also uh, take some time before we have solved this uh, completely. And I think realistically, it will take uh, till 2028 before AI has a level of memory so it can actually run a company without human interference. And then finally, uh, the decision-making part, so it doesn't have to ask the user all the time, you know, did you mean this or did you mean that? So for it to make reliable decisions, so uh, the owner of the company can just check in uh, maybe weekly, I think that will take at least until 2029. So a level of AGI, uh, for me, would, would, in other words, be limiting the amount of, of times that the AI would need to ask the user, like, what do you want me to, to, to do here, right? So right now, when you do a task like grading a music video or, or just a thumbnail or something like that, you need several interactions across different tools. So I believe uh, that when we come to 2026, maybe 2027, we could be down to just a couple of interactions uh, on a daily basis for running a simple consultancy company. And when we then reach around 2030, I think maybe, you know, a couple of interactions during a week. So basically, like a director of a company might have a strategy meeting once every week. I think you can imagine the company owner having the, the same strategy meeting with the AI weekly to kind of just fine tune and, and optimize. And I think then from 2030 to 2035, uh, the AI would be able to do this for more and more complex companies. The trajectory for automation is still very much on. It's not canceled. Once AI more or less can run companies by itself, people will feel we, we have AGI at, at at some level at least. So I think that that's a pretty practical way of defining what AGI could could look like in, in the workplace. So whether this will leave a lot of people jobless, I think that's still a question mark because you can say that it could also create quite a, a, a lot of jobs because everybody would be able to kind of create a small niche AI business. And maybe that AI business will actually need human input 
maybe it will need uh, a physical human input as well that the AI will actually hire some people instead of robots to, to do actual things. Exactly how this will impact the, the job market is still uh, up in the air, but I do think a lot of uh, white collar jobs will go away in, in this process. The less you need to interact with AI, kind of move up from AI taking junior level jobs to mid level jobs, and then in the end, it's actually uh, taking over the director level and expert jobs, and you just kind of leave, you could say, the owner uh, or the board of of the company. So that's at least my take. So I don't think Sam Altman is correct when he kind of hints that AGI is is cancelled. I, I know some people might say this is not AGI, but I, at least I think from a practical point of view, when you're looking at uh, it from the labor markets, whether this huge automation will happen, then I think it, it will happen. But it, it will take a few years, and I think before... It can automate really complex businesses it, that might be maybe 10 years away. At least that is my take. Uh, let me hear in the comments what you think.